Hi, so welcome to the max proofing video. Like I, before going ahead with the max proofing video, I'm going to talk about my ethical hacking session. I'm going to conduct a hundred hours of ethical hacking session. It's a 20 days of training in cyber security field. If you're interested in cyber security, yes, you can contact me anytime. We are ready to help you. It's a live training program. It's in 2D and 3D. I'm going to teach you. It's, we are covering 10 technologies in it. It's a 10 technology in one bundle. You will learn like anything. So if you're interested, like this is the details about our program. So here is the English version we are going to conduct on May 25 to June 13. And the Tamil version is in June 1 to June 20. And here is the like a registration link. I'll put in the video's description. You can check it out. The timing is flexible. You can log in at any time to learn it. The videos we are going to load it and you'll have live classes also. And the type of training is 100% practical training covering almost 800 technologies, 240 topics, 60 sessions, 180 hacking tools, and two hacking operating systems, Kali Linux and Parrot OS. And here is the, in the browser, you are able to see all the details, like all the list of topics I'm going to cover it for you. Let's hope like I'll give the best thing to you. You can contact me anytime. And if you're looking for any other dates, yes, it's possible you can contact us in this number. We are ready to give some custom dates to learn your ethical hacking. Yes. If you want to learn ethical hacking course or internships, want to do internships or do projects directly online, or you can come directly to my office. Yes, you can do it. Here's the website and contact number. You can contact me at any time. Yes, we'll talk about max spoofing. What is max spoofing? Max spoofing is media access control. Mac, the abbreviation is media access control. In Mac, we are able to, like, uh, see, once if I bought a computer, I got a network interface card. Previously, we got a separate network interface card. Now we got the card which is onboard on the chip. It's an onboard network interface card in my motherboard. Okay, there is a number. Using that number, the hackers will be like uh, found by the like a cyber security specialist. I'll teach you like uh, how the cyber security specialist found the person's uh, MAC address, uh, fetching the MAC and from that, how we can identify, we'll see it in this video. Let's move on. Here is the network interface card I want to show you. So the network interface card, uh, using this network interface card, we are able to connect to internet. The uh, NIC card will have this number. The number is almost uh, 12 digits will be there. It's almost 48 bits. Among that, the first 28 bits is the manufacturer number. So who created this MAC address, like our network interface card? And the last 24 bit is the like a user's MAC address. You got the manufacturer and the user. So combined, we got a 48 bit. That's your network interface card number. Okay, NIC number. Okay, so we are able to identify from this number, like uh, who is the user who hacked our website. Okay, so they are users, they will spoof, they will change this number using max spoofing softwares. Okay, now I got this number, I'll tell you detail like uh, how this number is used. So this number will have like, uh, this is like almost like you got some 12 digits I told, each number will have 8 bits. Okay, the combination will have the adding, accumulating everything, you got this 48 bit. So I'm giving four numbers to four different people. Hey, have this network converse card. This one, this one, this one. Yes, 0, 1 to you, 0, 2, 0, 3, and 0, 4. I gave the numbers to them. Okay, what happened is like this number, if you convert into a binary number, you got the last of zero, which indicates is unicast. You may ask me, what is unicast? Unicast is nothing but sending to a particular person is unicast. Whereas the last number is one indicates it's a multicast one to many people I can send it. Okay. And the second number with zero, it's a universally administrated address. See, I got my server where I'm able to access and I can administer that particular server commonly. That's what universally administered server and locally administered address is nothing but your local machine. So the second number is one indicates it's locally administrated address. This is how the network interface card is identified and given to the people. Hey, you want for multicasting? This is the network interface card. You are looking for a, a like a globally administered address? Have this network interface card number. So based on like based on the usage, the network interface card is distributed. Okay, this is the one you should know it. Okay, now let's see like how the internet works. Once the user wants to access their website, immediately they need three things. One is like a MAC address, the other one is IP address, the third one is website. They, the, the internet will collect all the things. 
IP address. Say I'm I'm kind of, I'm trying to make my mobile data on. In that case, I got my Jio or Airtel or some Vodafone. So internet the like, uh, they are the internet service providers. I need to connect it. Immediately they will allocate an IP address to me, and I'll use that IP address. And why are the uh, internet why are the Vodafone or somewhere like I'm trying to connect my World Wide Web and I'll trying to connect to the server. So the World Wide Web will identify what is the request. Hey, this is a website name. It is there over there. Yes, I can project it there. So they will identify and they will send the request to the particular website. The website will identify the MAC IP address and website. Hey, he's a genuine user man. Let's send the website to him. Yes, they will send the website to you. This is how the internet works. Okay. Now let's move on to the MAC spoofing. How it happened. How it happened. Now over here. The same user, he is in a very different situation. Now, what he is trying to do is like he is connecting. Before that, one before he connecting to the internet, he is trying to fake his Mac. He is facing faking his Mac using a Mac spoofing software. Now, the fake Mac is created with the IP address and website name. With the fake Mac IP address and the website name. Now, well, like, now I need the website name. I change the Mac first. Step one, change the Mac. Now, I need to connect to the internet. Connecting via the mobile data somewhere. Now my like I got my IP address now. If you want, you can spoof your IP also via the proxy servers or something like that. Yes. In my previous video, you can see those videos. Now like uh, with the fake make with the IP address and the website name. Now the request is once again passed. The website owner will think like, hey, that's uh, like uh, that's a guy like uh, he's a genuine user, but it's a fake Mac. So faking the Mac number is called as Max spoofing. Okay, this is how it will happen. But uh, usually the website will think that it's a genuine user and they'll be giving the website back to you. So this is how a normal max spoofing is happening. Okay, and this is done by no, not a normal user, it's done by the hackers. So that they will do like uh, they will browse the websites anonymously. Now let's see like how this MAC address is taken from your like a laptop or computers. So go to command prompt, get MAC, and here is the number. So I'm trying to copy it, and I want to identify who is the owner, like who is the like a creator of this MAC, who is a manufacturer. DNSChecker.org/mac-lookup.php is a website where I went, and I'll give me MAC address now. Once we give a MAC address and click the search button, yes, it is created the vendor company's Intel corporate and it took the first six number because that's the organizational unique number. So it's taken the six numbers and here is the start address and here's the end address. And uh, I'm trying to give the company address also here. Okay, this is how you are able to identify the MAC address. So if you've got any doubts and if you need any guidance, career guidance or anything, you can contact me at any time. And here is the like uh, my uh, uh, like Insta account and here is my contact number. You can contact me at any time. And uh, thanks for watching this video. I like, hope you enjoy this video. If you love this video, please like this video and share to your friends. Thank you.